Hello world, I'm Timothy Jordan reporting for The Developer Show here at the Firebase Dev Summit in Amsterdam. And I'm standing with Francis Ma, the lead product manager for Firebase. Hi Francis. Hey Timothy. <laughs> How are you doing today? Excellent, super excited to be in Amsterdam today. Yeah, this summit is way cool. And uh, my favorite part is the keynote where we get to learn all the cool new stuff happening with Firebase. And you talked about two things I was hoping that we could get a few more details on. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. We'd love to talk about it. The first is Firestore. Now, we know a little bit about Firestore. You talked about it a little bit more in the keynote. Uh, just lay it out for us. What is Firestore and why is it great for developers? Yeah, Firestore is our next generation's Firebase database. And the really cool part about it is that it's a NoSQL document-based database that scales automatically. And what is it that it solves now that like, we couldn't do before with other solutions? Yeah, so there were two things. First off, we built Firestore based on the learnings from the real-time database, and have done so building on Google's powerful cloud infrastructure. And so with that, first key part is the scalability of it. And as I mentioned earlier, that Firestore is an auto-managed database and so what that means is, as a developer, you don't have to worry about the infrastructure. It just scales effortlessly, whether you're building a prototype, running a startup, or even scaling up to, say, a billion users. It will just automatically work for you. And the second part that's really cool about Firestore is that its data structure is now based on a collections document model, mm. which is a change from the Firebase real-time database. And with this new model, you can allows you to structure your data a little bit more intuitively, and also be able to run efficient queries on it as well. All right, let's talk about one other thing, and that's Firebase predictions, which you announced for the first time today. Tell us, what is it? Yeah, we're super excited about predictions. It's our first step of bringing Google's machine learning into Firebase. And we have created this to help developers apply machine learning on their own analytics data and predict what their users are likely to do. And so the power in there is that um, now they can take more proactive actions to create a more engaging experience for their users. So for example, if you're building a game, we can help you predict how likely users are going to leave your game because they, they might find it too difficult. And so now, as a game developer, you'll be able to use it to say whether you give them some promotion up front or lower the difficulty of the level mm -hmm. to continue to drive that engagement. And the cool part about predictions is that you can also set up your own custom predictions. So not only works well for game developers, but say if you're building an e-commerce app or a fitness app, mm -hmm. you can set up your own predictions that are important for you. That's really cool. I think my favorite thing about Firebase predictions is that all that machine learning is under the hood. We did all the hard work and developers can just use the value of it. Absolutely. And that's really the spirit of Firebase where our focus is to help developers focus on creating value for their users and us doing the heavy lifting for them. And in this instance for machine learning, a lot of developers that we've heard from are finding some of the tools on the market difficult for the fact that it requires advanced machine learning knowledge. And so here, following the Firebase spirit, we have packaged a lot of it under the hood, as you had said, such that there is no need for them to have any machine learning knowledge whatsoever. All they need to do is enable this feature. As long as they have analytics enabled, the machine will just work and automatically set up predictions for them. Francis, thanks so much for joining us today. Always my pleasure. Thanks for joining me here at the Firebase Dev Summit 2017 in Amsterdam. For links to all the session videos, look in the description below. I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. See you next time.